Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, before we get into it, I do want to quickly apologize for the maybe quality of the video. I'm not really sure if it's any worse than normal, but I'm currently using my phone as a mic and uh, my laptop as the main recording device because uh, in case you guys didn't know, there was a pretty serious storm in Toronto last night and uh, your boy lost power and I still haven't gotten it back so I gotta make do with what I have, you know. But anyways, uh, getting into the main topic of this video which is the Fizz LR Cell and Cell Junior Extreme Z Awakening which is coming out on uh, both sides of the game in about I think a day and a half or something like that and the details came out this morning, so we're gonna check it out together. Okay, so uh, we have the LR Cell here, starting with his pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes. Leader skill is Fizz types, or rather Extreme Fizz types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, uh, Super Fizz types, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%, 12k super attack, colossal damage to all enemies, and recovers 10% HP, and then 18 key super, raises attack for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. Passive, attack and defense plus 90% at the start of turn, plus an additional key plus one, and attack plus 10% per existing enemy. So, to be fair, the Fizz Cell was not, in my opinion, that bad before the EZA, like his damage, wasn't super impressive, but it was okay. His defense wasn't that good either, but it wasn't terrible, right? Like, he wasn't like, um, you know, Int, LR Gohan, or something like that, where he had no defense before the EZA. He did have some defense, and uh, his damage wasn't too bad. But of course, he was pretty outdated, so this EZA, in my opinion, was definitely uh, necessary. So jumping over to the now Extreme Z Awakening details. Leader skill is Extreme Fizz types, key plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super Fizz types, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 90%. 12k super attack, colossal damage to all enemies, and recovers 12% HP. And then 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to one enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. Key plus 3 plus an additional defense plus 60% if it is an ultra super attack when facing only one enemy. And then plus an additional key plus 1 and attack plus 30% per existing enemy. And his additional boosts are calculated separately which means that when he's performing a 12k super he's getting up to defense plus 252 percent and then when he's performing an ultra super attack when facing only one enemy he's getting defense plus 384 percent so this guy is now going to be super super tanky in you know like certain situations where you're doing the 18k super and you're facing one enemy but if you're doing the 12k super and uh you know, you're getting that 252% defense boost, he's still gonna be relatively tanky, right? And his damage will be better because he's getting, uh, you know, greatly raising attack on the 18k super, he's getting a more attack boost on the uh, passive as well, although not as much additional attack as additional defense, obviously. But he's also getting 30% attack per existing enemy versus uh, 10 percent before so as an attack all unit he's gonna be hitting way way harder he's gonna be a lot more viable on events like super battle road especially world tournaments where uh, the issue with him compared to like lr broly was that uh, he didn't always hit hard enough on 25x to 30x to clear the entire enemy field but now since it's 30 percent attack per existing enemy i think most times he should be able to kill all the uh, enemy team like units uh, even on 30x for a world tournament right so it's not really as much of a concern um i think this is a really good extreme z awakening guys honestly like overall i don't have too many complaints um the only thing i could nitpick maybe is the fact that 
he's only getting the additional 60% defense on the ultra super attack when facing only one enemy. Uh, I think this restriction wasn't really that necessary if you ask me but um yeah that's the only main drawback the other thing is like he's not really a slot one unit he's gonna have some defense as a slot one but he's much better in slot two or slot three where you're gonna be getting a much bigger uh defense boost right so um yeah if i was to nitpick those would be the two things i would like point out as maybe slightly negative but as a whole extremely extremely good easy a um he's gonna be as i said much much better on a super battle road much much better on uh world tournament which is where he was mainly used before right and then for single target um you know he is gonna be a lot more tanky he's not gonna hit like i mean it doesn't seem like on paper he's gonna hit that much harder than he did before for single target but he's gonna be much tankier right he's gonna be getting so much more defense which uh to me is almost better than getting a lot more attack right because we have a lot of great damage dealers in the game i think we need more defensive units as uh the game gets harder as harder and harder events come out with enemies that hit harder and harder so um i think it's totally fine as is like i said not a perfect extremes awakening but I mean, I would go as far to say that it's near perfect, you know, based on my expectations. Honestly, I try to keep my expectations uh, somewhat, you know, low or at least like reasonable this time because there have been some uh, disappointments as of late. So maybe that's why I'm like pretty happy about this EZA. But I feel like the general sentiment on like Twitter and stuff like that is uh, quite positive. So. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Fizz, LR, Cell, and Cell Jr., the uh, Extremes, the Awakening. Um, I think it's really good. He's going to be viable on uh, any event in the game, whether it's like longer events or shorter events or single target events or multi-target events. Obviously, he's really going to shine when it comes to uh, multi-target, like multiple enemy uh, fights. But when it comes to single target, once again, he's going to be really, really tanky, which it's gonna help a lot as uh we get harder and harder events in the game right so uh yeah that is the fizz lr cell extremes the awakening i am pretty happy about it once again i want to hear your opinions in the comments apologies for the uh maybe worse audio maybe not maybe it sounds better let me know about that too and uh, hopefully your boy gets power back soon because right now I'm uh, at a friend's house using their Wi-Fi, stealing their uh, power, and I really appreciate that, but it'd be much nicer to be in my regular recording studio setup, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Fizz LR Cell Extremes The Awakening dropping on Global and JP very, very soon. Look forward to it. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.